For this project, you'll need a super fine yarn and a 3.5 mm crochet hook. You can find the list of the materials in the description box. And if you're new to this channel, hello there. My name is Kat and I make crochet tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at WhatAboutYarn. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Begin with a magic ring or a magic circle. Chain 4. Double crochet into the magic ring. Chain 1. Double crochet and chain one into the magic ring. Repeat this five more times. Pull the tail of the magic ring to secure the round. Slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain 4 and that ends round number 1. Round number 2, slip stitch in the next chain 1 space, chain 3 and make 2 double crochet in the same chain 1 space. Next, make 3 double crochet in each chain 1 space all the way around. End of round 2, slip stitch in the 3rd chain of the beginning chain 3. chain 3 and make 2 double crochet in the same chain 1 space. Chain 2 And make another 3 double crochet all in that same chain 1 space. Next, make 3 double crochet in the next chain 1 space. So we are now working into the second corner of the square. And on the next chain 1 space, we will work 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet, all in that same chain 1 space. 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet. So you can see from here that we are now working on the first corner of the square. And moving on to the next chain 1 space, we will make 3 double crochet. And on the next chain 1 space, we will work the corner pattern. So 3 double crochet, chain 2, 3 double crochet, all in that same chain 1 space. Chain 2, 3 double crochet, 
Next, we will work the third side of the square. So three double crochet in the next chain one space. And then make the corner pattern in the next space. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So we're almost finished with the square, three double crochet in the next chain one space. And then slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three. Next, chain three, then make two double crochet in that same space. Next, we're going to work the corner of the square in the next chain one space. So make three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet all in that same space. Like so. Next, we're going to repeat the pattern until we reach the corner. And when you're finished with the corner, we will do the same pattern as well and work the next corner and then continue with this all the way around. At the end, we will slip stitch in the third chain of the beginning chain three. And if you prefer a larger size for the cup, you can repeat this round as many times as you want. Fasten off and make another two squares of different colors. Then we will connect them in the middle using a back loop slip stitch. Here I will use the bright pink yarn for the straps. Join the yarn into the lower right corner stitch of the cup, chain one, and make two single crochet into the corner. Make a single crochet into each stitch. And to do a single crochet, you're going to insert the hook into the stitch. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. Now single crochet into each stitch until you reach the top center of the cup. At the top, you're going to make two single crochet and then single crochet into each stitch coming down here to the last corner of the cup Make two single crochet there and then single crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of the round. After that, we're going to chain 41 for the front ties. And once you have your chain, you're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch into each chain. At the end, you will slip stitch in the first single crochet and fasten off. Now repeat everything from the very beginning to create the second cup, but this time you will start joining your pink yarn from the lower left side of the cup. After that, we're going to join the two uh, cups. 
So do not cut the yarn after finishing off your second cup. And we will um, make a back loop slip stitch into both sides of the cup from the middle. So I will be joining them for about one inch starting from the middle of the cup and once you reach that we're going to turn our work and begin the edging from the left cup. Chain 3. Chain 3 counts as one double crochet. On the same space we're going to make three double crochet. Skip 2 stitches and slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain 3 and make 3 double crochet in the same stitch. This will be the pattern that you will repeat until you reach the top of the cup. So skip 2 and slip stitch. At the top part, we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then we will make the strap for the neck. So chain, 100 chains or if you prefer a longer chain, you can add as many chains as you want. And then we will slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch into each stitch. Coming back to the center of the cup, slip stitch in the next stitch, chain 3, and repeat the pattern for the edging until you reach the next corner of the cup. Coming down to the side corner of the cup, make 150 chains or more and then slip stitch in the second chain from the hook until you reach the lower part of the cup. Slip stitch in the next stitch and then repeat the pattern for the edging. So chain 3, 3 double crochet in the same stitch. Skip 2 stitches and slip stitch in the next. Repeat this until you reach the middle of both cups. At the middle part we will slip stitch and then repeat the edging again. Coming down to the opposite side of the cup, we will repeat the same number of chains and continue with the same pattern for the edging until you reach the beginning of this round. Fasten off and cut the yarn and weave in all of the ends. Friends, that marks the end of this tutorial. If you enjoy watching this video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.